This video is going to go over shaded and non-shaded regions of compound figures, and we're going to find the area of one of those spots. Some real life examples of when someone might need to do uh, a shaded versus non-shaded area would be these two examples, the swimming pool at the top. Um, if someone is going to build this tiled area around the outside, they could take the area of the entire space and then get the area of the swimming pool and then subtract that out to know how much square feet of tile that they would need to order for this job to finish out the project. Something else is a picture frame. The material needed um, for wood to build the picture frame, if you knew the dimensions, the length and width of the entire picture frame, you could calculate that space, but then the area on the inside where glass is going to be, you would find this space and then subtract it from the total just so you know how much wood is needed to build the actual frame. The first example we're going to look at has um, a shaded region the outer spot used to be a triangle, so I'm going to put that in this first box. My shaded space was a triangle, and the dimensions for the triangle were 6 and then 7 for the height. The non-shaded space is this area in here that used to be, but now it's cut away, is a rectangle. And the dimensions for the rectangle are four and two. I'm gonna put my rectangle over here and put my numbers for length and width. Okay, the second line for this table says, name the shape. Well, I kind of already said them out loud, but we'll go ahead and name the shape and write the formula. So the shaded area was triangle, and the way you find area of a triangle is A equals base times height divided by 2, or you can say half BH. The non-shaded space that had been cut away was the rectangle, and the way you find area of a rectangle is just base times height. Now what I'm going to do is solve to find the areas of those two figures, and then I have to subtract these two from each other to get the leftover space. So I am going to write subtract right in the middle. These two things need to be subtracted from each other to get the leftover space. Okay, looking at the triangle area, I know my base is 6 and I know my height is 7. So I'm going to put those two numbers in right here and then solve for the original area. 6 times 7 divided by 2. 42 divided by 2 is 21. Now I'm going to do the same thing, but for the rectangle. My measurements for my rectangle were 4 and 2. I'm going to put those right here and do 4 times 2 is 8. And then remember at the top, I was saying that you needed to sh subtract those two. My final answer, the total area of leftover shaded space would be 21 minus 8. That leaves me with 13, and this was meters. 13 square meters would be my final answer for the remaining shaded space. For the second example, the outer area of shaded space was a rectangle, and then the inside space that had been cut away was a circle. So I have my shaded rectangle and I have my non shaded circle. So I'm going to draw those in. The rectangle dimensions were 7 and 12. So this time I'm just going to go all the way down um, the column. So formula for rectangle is just base times height. 7 times 12 is 84. 
Now the area that's not shaded is this circle space. It says the distance all the way across is four. However, if you know how to find area of a circle, you know that you need radius, which is just halfway across. So that's what I need to use. The name of the non-shaded space was circle. The way you find area of a circle is um, pi times radius times radius. Pi is always 3.14, 3.14 times, and in this circle, the radius, remember, is 2, not 4, so I'm going to use 2. 3.14 times 2 times 2. I'm going to go ahead and do 3.14, but do 2 times 2 is 4, and then 3.14 times 4 is 12.56. Then to find my final answer, the area of the big rectangle was 84. Then a cutout area of non-shaded space was 12.56, which then leaves me with 71.44, and that was in yards. 71.44 square yards for the final answer. Oh, and then remember, we are supposed to subtract these areas.